There is no turning back for Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan in pursuing his wish to explore oil and gas resources in the eastern Mediterranean Sea. Even though the oil and gas exploration plan was strongly rejected by Greece, Turkey did not budge at all. He actually boasted that he would continue his plan, even if it had to fight against Athena even once. This was confirmed by Turkish officials recently. Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlet Kavusoglu emphasized that Ankara will issue seismic exploration and drilling permits by the end of August. Our determination is not wavering here. We will not compromise in any way from this, Mevlet Kavusoglu said yesterday, quoted by Viva Military from Reuters, Wednesday, August 12, 2020. In fact, the spokesman for the Turkish government, Faradin Altan has hinted at a war in the Mediterranean Sea against the Athenian Navy. In his personal Twitter account, Altan has uploaded a video about 50 seconds in length which shows the strength of Ankara's combat fleet in the Mediterranean Sea today. The short video released by the Turkish official depicts visually how the Turkish seismic research vessel, Oric Reis, sailing towards the seas off the East Mediterranean is under tight guard by a convoy of Turkish warships. Turkish warships gallantly fire various missiles towards the high seas, from anti-submarine missiles, anti-surface ships to anti-air missiles. Not only that, a number of warplanes belonging to the Turkish Air Force are also maneuvering aboard the Turkish Navy warships, indicating that Turkey will fully launch its plans to acquire oil and gas resources in the seas off the East Mediterranean which Greece has disputed. From our winning history, from all over the world, we are the only ones who have changed the world one last time and we are always inspired by the blue color of our country. Mavi Vaitan Hergen Beer Damla Kutsald. R. Reed's Alton statement is the Ankara Navy doctrine. Meanwhile, Greece doesn't seem to have the fangs to block the Oric Reese ship escorted by 15 warships from the Turkish Navy. Greek Foreign Minister Nikos Dendias said his party had encouraged the European Union to hold an emergency meeting of the European Union Foreign Affairs Council to discuss Turkish military movements accused of disrupting the Greek Special Economic Zone EEZ. Dendias urged Turkey to immediately leave the Greek continental shelf. Athena will defend her rights, said Dendias. As previously reported by Viva Military, the high official for foreign affairs and security policy of the European Union, Josep Borrell, asked Ankara and Athens to stop military movements in the Mediterranean Sea and return to sit together to solve the problem of maritime border demarcation with a cool head. The recent ocean movement in the eastern Mediterranean is very worrying, and will not contribute to finding a solution, but rather leads to greater hostility and lack of trust, said Joseph Burrell, Monday, August 10.